ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم ارسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا من يطع الله ورسوله فقد رشد واهتدى ومن يعص الله ورسوله فقد ضل ضلالا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فاذ ذا القربى حقه والمسكين وابن السبيل ذلك خير للذين يريدون وجه الله واولئك هم المفلحون وما اتيتم من ربا ليغوا في اموال الناس فلا يغوا عند الله وما اتيتم من زكاه تريدون وجه الله فاولئك هم المضعفون my dear brothers and sisters imam ahmad bin hanbal imam tirmidhi and imam ibn majah and some other aima they have reported a hadith that sayyidina abu kabsha al anmari radiyallahu anhu he says annahu sami'a rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yaqul that he heard allah messenger say that inni uhaddithukum hadithan fahfazu i am going to tell you a beautiful hadith that you must remember well inni uhaddithukum hadithan fahfazu that i am going to tell you narrate you a hadith something that you must remember well and then he described that inna ad-dunya li arba'ati nafar that this world is exclusively for four kinds of people there are four kinds of people in this world the whole people the whole mankind can be categorized into four categories the first category abdin razaqahu allah malam wa ilma that the first person to whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted has bestowed upon him wealth property as well as knowledge two things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him first is wealth and the second is knowledge fam wa yattaqi fi rabba wa yasilu fi rahima ويعمل فيه لله طاع and he fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his wealth and he maintains family ties by using this wealth and knowledge he keeps good relation with his relatives because of this wealth and he recognizes allah's right upon him in this wealth fa hada bi afdal al manazil this person is the best of station this person is the best and the most excellent in his place in his station in his status and in his rank the best person of mankind who perform these three duties that he fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he maintain family ties because of this wealth he gives it to, to his relatives and he <coughs> and also he gives the right of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second person wa abdin razaqahu allah ilma wa lam yarzuq mala and the second person to whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given knowledge and he did not give him back and fa huwa sadiqun niyya and he is the truthful in his intention he is very sincere in his intention and he says لو ان لي مالا لا عملت بعمل كذا وكذا if i had wealth i would have done that deed like that person rich person i would also have maintained family ties i would have also given it to my relatives so he had no wealth but he had good intention ف 
its reward, you will see its fruit in this world, as well as in the hereafter. But you will see its reward, its fruit in this world. Just you go, join your family relations, make others happy, make your relatives happy, your uncle, your aunt, your other relatives, go to them, spend on them, you will see its reward in this world. There is authentic hadith. In the that the quickest deed which brings you benefit and fruit in this world is Silatul Rahim. And what is the reward? What fruit you will see in this world? What benefits? What result you will see and experience in this world? Some of them we have discussed in our last football. That it is the easiest way to attain Jannah, easiest way. <coughs> that Afshu Salam, wa Adi'imu Ta'am, wa Sallu Arham, wa Sallu Billayi wa Nasun Yaq. And it is the easiest way and the quickest way to <coughs> seek expiation for your sins. If you have done something wrong, so do Siratul Rahim. Go and join family ties. Go and make your relatives happy, your parents, your children, your aunt, your <coughs> uncles. And Allah will forgive your sins. And also, it is the easiest and quickest way to make Allah happy. Because Allah loves this deed, as we have discussed in our last football. But there are two more and uh, three benefits. Three benefits <coughs> which each one of us desires for. We are longing to attain these three benefits. Every person he has wish to gain these things. And this is the easiest way do, do Siratul Rahim with your relatives, join family ties, and you will gain these benefits in this world. And the first is, each one of us desires to have a long life. Each one of us desires. And each one of us desires to have extension in his provision, in his risk. The, the whole day we work for earning our livelihood, our, our provision. And the third is, each one of us desire to have a peaceful family life, love in family members, that my children should love me, my relatives, my parents, my wife, my husband, everyone has desire. And these benefits we can attain easily by maintaining family ties. There are too many ahadis on this issue. The Islam says that man ahabba ay yubsada lahu fi rizqi wa yunsa lahu fi athari faliyasil rahima. He who wants that his lifetime is extended, who wants to have a long life, and and he wants that his provision is expanded, he wants to increase his income. Beautiful hadith. He must maintain family ties. He must join the kinship. He must join the bond of kinship. Allah will increase his life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase his provision, his, his income, his wealth. And the third, love among, among house members, family members. The Islam says that, inna silat al-rahim, and in another hadith, inna silat al-qaraba, that maintaining family ties, joining the relative relation, Connection with family members, with relatives. Mahabbatan fil ahl. Mahabbatan fil ahl. Wa masratan fil mal. Wa mansatan fil umr. In another hadith, wa mansatan fil adal. That maintaining family ties, it is a mean for mutual love with your family members. People, they will love you. As we discuss the hadith. Hadith Qudsi, Allah said, Hukkat mahabbadi lil mutawasilina fiya. My love is ensured for those who maintain family ties to make me happy. When Allah loves someone, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called Jibreel, Ya Jibreel, inni uhibu fulana, for ahibba, I love so and so person, so you must love him. So Jibreel loves him. And then Jibreel announces, among the inhabitants of heavens, Ya Malaika the Sama, all the angels, all the inhabitants of heaven, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves so and so person, so you must love him. 
So all angels they love him. And then Summa Yudahu Lahul Kabulu fil Arz. And then his love is sent down upon earth. All inhabitants of this world, in this earth, they love that person. Mahabadan fil ahl, family members, his children, they respect him. His family members, they love him. It is the baraka of maintaining family ties. And increase in your wealth and increase in your lifetime. And another fruit of maintaining family ties, my dear brother, and that is that you will get the double reward. Double reward. If you spend on any person, any poor person, you will get a charity, a reward, a merit. But if you spend this word upon your poor relatives, sadaqatun ala al-miskeen sadaqa wa sadaqatun ala zirrahim sindan that if you spend a charity alms on any poor, you will get the reward. But if you spend this on your poor relatives, Sintan, you will get double reward. <coughs> you will get double reward. And Sadaqatun Wasila. One is the swap and the reward of spending on poor person. And the second is connection, joining family ties. Because you are spending on your poor relatives. So if you read the Quran, so Allah mentioned the Zil Qurba first of all. فَآدِ ذَا الْقُرْبَى حَقَّهُ وَالْمِسْكِينَ وَابْنَ السَّبِيلِ يَسَلُونَ كَمَا لَا يُنْفِقُونَ قُلْ مَا أَنْفَقْتُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ فَلِلْوَالِدَيْنِ وَالْأَخْرَابِينَ وَالْيَبَامَ وَالْمَسَاكِينَ وَابْنِ السَّبِيلِ Other masakin are mentioned later, first are poor relatives. Allah says, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَنْ تُوَلِّ وُجُوَكُمْ قِمَلَ الْمَشْرِكِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ and he gives the wealth to make Allah happy to Zabil Qurba, to his close relatives. So this is, you will get double reward. Sayyidah Mamuna radiallahu anha, Nabi Salam's wife, so she had a slave, she is slave. And Walida, so she set her free. Be before Nabi Salam seeking Nabi Salam's permission because she, she was her own uh, property, so she set her free. So when Nabi Salam came to her on her turn, so the hadith of Bukhari Muslim, so she informed Nabi Salam, didn't you, didn't you see that I have set my she slave free? Nabi Salam said, Did, have, have you done so? She said, Yes. Nabi Salam said, أَمَا أَنَّكِ لَوْ أَعْطَيْتِهَا أَخْوَالَكْ لَأَكَ لَكَانَ أَعْظَمُ لِأَجْلِهِ If you had given this valida, this she slave, to your uncles, to your relatives, and you, then you would have received double reward, because you are helping your relatives. So if you give this charity, your property, whatever you want to give, if you give it to your relatives, so you will get double reward. There is a hadith of Bukhari and Muslim, and, and Sayyidina Sa'ad bin Mu'ad, he narrated this hadith. And also, Zainab, the wife of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, she is narrator of this hadith. Then once Nabi al -Islam, he went to lead khutbah Eid, lead the prayer of Eid. And he, at that time, when he spoke to Sahaba, afterward he advised women, and he, during his khutbah, and his advice to women, he said, Ya ma'ashara al-nisa, tasaddaqna wa lawmin hulihikun. O women, you must spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even, even if you have jewelry, you must spend it. So this is the iman. When a man listens any hadith, he starts acting upon that. He follows, he obeys. إنما كان قول المؤمنين إذا دعوا إلى الله ورسوله يحكم بينه أن يقولوا سمعنا وأطعنا. When the khutbah finished, Abdullah bin Mas'ud رضي الله عنه's wife, her name is Zainab, she also was there. So when she listened, she had made up her mind to spend something in the way of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. So when she went home, she asked her husband Abdullah bin Mas'ud, the famous Sahabi, that Abdullah. I want to spend something to give as a charity. 
Khafifun, yes. But you are a poor person. Why should I spend it upon you? You are my husband, you are poor, you have children. So if I spend this wealth upon you, so would I get reward? He said, why not? You will get rewards. Spend on me, give me. She said, no. Go to Nabi Islam and ask this question. The Hadith of Bukhari. So Abdullah Masood, he felt shy to go to Nabi Islam. He said, Bali But brother, you should, you yourself should go. So she had to go to Nabi Islam. And she said that when I reach the home of Nabi Islam, another woman, another woman was also standing there. Imurat min al Ansar, an Ansari woman. She also had come for the same question. Both had the same question. If we spend our wealth on our husband, would we get reward or not? So she said that, وَكَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ قَدْ أُلْقِيَتْ عَلَيْهِ الْمَحَابَ Nabi Rasulullah was had been blessed by all, by extreme respect. We could not dare to go to his home. So we stood at the door of Nabi Rasulullah's home because of his haba. So Bilal Habishir of Allah, he came out and he asked a question, what is the purpose? So we both of us told him our purpose and said, go ask Nabi Rasulullah this question, but don't mention our name. Don't tell him who we are. So when Bilal Habishir of Allah, he asked the question of Nabi Rasulullah. So Nabi Rasulullah asked, who are they? So how can he refuse? When Allah's messenger asks something, how can a Bilal Habishir refuse? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran that when Allah the Messenger calls you, you must respond, you must answer him. So he had to mention that Imurat Mumin al Ansar and Ansari woman was Zainab. And even then he did not disclose her identity. I'm Zainab. Islam asked, I use Zainab. Which of Zainab? There are too many Zainab in Medina. Which of Zainab? So he had to mention that Zawjadu and Abdullah Masood radiallahu anhu. She is Abdullah Masood of the Allah's wife. And they have this question. The Rasulullah said, Akhbir huma, go and tell them, Lahuma ajran, you will get double reward. One spending on one person, and second spending on your husbands. So this is the sacred relation. Sacred, sacred sila, sacred rahim, and sacred muqalaba. <coughs> and and then the hadith, the Rasulullah says that, Inna Inna sila tar rahim, sila tar rahim, wa husnu khulf, wa husnu jiwa. Three acts. Sila tar rahim, wa husnu khulf, wa husnu jiwa. And maintaining family ties, and having a good moral conduct, akhlaq, and having good relation with your neighbors. Respecting your neighbors. Yu ammirna diyan, and wa yazidna fil a'ma. They will bring a happiness in your, in your homes and bring increase in your life. So this, these are the rewards. May Allah subhanahu wa give us the feet to follow these instructions. Amen. Inna alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ba'd. Aaj ke khutbah juma ka khulasa ye hai ke insaan ke liye is dunya mein جو اللہ نے رشتے مقرر کیے ہیں ان کا احترام اللہ نے خود سکھایا ہے اور ان کا احترام اس لیے نہیں ہے کہ وہ ہم سے حسن سلوک کریں تو ہم تب ان سے حسن سلوک کریں بلکہ یہ اللہ کا انتخاب ہے اللہ نے ہمارے یہ رشتے خود منتخب فرمائے ہیں وَرَبُّ کَا يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشْعَاءُ وَيَخْتَارُ اللہ جو چاہتا ہے پیدا کرتا ہے اور جس کو چاہتا ہے کسی کے لیے منتخب کر دیتا ہے اللہ نے ہمارے رشتے خود منتخب کیے ہیں یہ رشتے اللہ کی پسند ہیں اور اللہ چاہتے ہیں کہ ہم اس کا احترام کریں ان رشتوں کا احترام کریں کسی کو بھی حق نہیں ہے کہ اپنے کسی بھی رشتہ دار کو اس طرح ہمارے ہاں روا چل پڑا ہے بیٹا اگر نافرمان ہے تو اس کو جائدہ سے آ کر دیا جائے اس کو جائدہ سے محروم کر کسی کو بھی حق نہیں ہے کسی باپ کو حق نہیں ہے اپنے اولاد کو اپنی جائدہ سے محروم کر دے کسی بھائی تو حق نہیں اپنے بھائی سے قطع تعلقی کر لیں انشاءاللہ ہم اس پر گفتگو کریں گا اندہ خود بجمہ میں My dear brother, انشاءاللہ very important point they are remaining انشاءاللہ we will discuss in our next خطبہ So I request every brother not to miss that coming خطبہ انشاءاللہ very important point regarding صلات الرحیم So یہ بہت اہم معاملہ ہے 
اس کو اللہ نے خود رشتے مقرر کیے ہیں اور ان کے اتنے فوائد ہیں جو ہم چاہتے ہیں ہر انسان کی خواہش ہے کہ میرا اللہ مجھ سے راضی ہو جائے اللہ کو راضی کرنے کے لیے آسان ترین عمل صلاۃ الرحیم ہے ہر انسان کی خواہش ہے میری گناہ معاف ہو جائیں آسان ترین عمل صلاۃ الرحیم ہے یہ ایسا عمل ہے میرے بھائیو کہ اس پر دین کا بھی فرق نہیں ہے اگر صلا رحمی ایک کافر بھی کرے گا ایک فاجر بھی کرے گا ایک نافرمان بھی کرے گا اس کو بھی اس کا فائدہ پہنچے گا نبی صلی اللہ نے فرمایا ان اهل البيت لا يكون فجر فتنمو اموالهم ويكثر عددهم اذا تواصلوا اگر کوئی گھر والے جن فاجر بھی کیوں نہ ہو نافرمان بھی کیوں نہ ہو اگر وہ بھی صلا رحمی کریں فتنمو اموالهم ويكثر عددهم ان کے بھی مال میں اللہ اضافہ کر دیتا ہے اللہ ان کے بھی تعداد میں اللہ اضافہ فرما دیتا ہے ان کی اولادیں بڑھ جاتی ہیں صرف سیدا رحمی کرنے کی وجہ سے آخر اس پر ان کو فائدہ نہیں پہنچے گا اگر کافر ہے لیکن اس سیدا رحمی کرنے کی وجہ سے ایک فائدے کو بھی فائدہ پہنچتا ہے تو ہم اہل توحید اہل ایمان نبی کی امتی نمازیں پڑھنے والے روزے رکھنے والے حد ادا کرنے والے اگر ہم اس خوبی کو اپنا لیں تو کتنے اس کی برکات کتنے اس کے فائدے ہوں گے اور انسان کے رزق میں اضافہ اس رزق میں اضافہ کے لیے ہم دن رات متفق بھی رہتے ہیں آسان اس کا کیا ہے اللہ کیا فرماتے ہیں بات ذر قربا حق و المسکین و ابن السبیل ذالک خیر للذین یریدون وجه الله و اولئک هم المفلحون و ما آتیتم من ربا لیربو فی اموال الناس جو تم نے پیسے بینکوں میں رکھے ہوئے ہیں سود کی خاطر سود لینے کے لیے انٹرسٹ لینے کے لیے اس سے برکت نہیں ہوگی برکت کیسے ہوگی وما آتی تم من زکاتی تریدو نمجھ اللہ فملائی کا من مدیف ہوں اس مال کو نکالو اپنے غریبوں میں خرد کرو رشتہ داروں پہ بھائی بھوکا مر رہا ہے اور دوسرے نے لاکھوں روپے اپنے کون میں رکھے ہوئے ہیں یہ قطع رحمی ہے یہ خون کا سفید ہو جانا اس سے برکت نہیں ہوتی وعجلنا من خزي الدنيا وعذاب الآخرة اللهم اشفنا واشم الضان مرض المسلمين اللهم اقض حاجاتنا وحاجات المسلمين اللهم إنا نسألك فعل الخيرات ترق المنكرات وحب المساكين اللهم انسر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم اغفر لجميع موتانا موت المسلمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله Thank <laughs> you.